Welcome back. Yes, I am giddy like a school child because I am so excited. At the, I think this is going to be a game changer for South Africa. The Netball World Cup is only days away with teams stepping up their preparations ahead of the tournament proper. Now, they must be terrified. The opening game will feature the Proteas as they take on Wales before facing Sri Lanka. And then Jamaica over the weekend. It's a pretty tough start. And here to chat more about the tournament is 5FM presenter Zanele Potelwa, who has now joined the SABC Sport family as a presenter for a new Netball World Cup show. I'm going to give you the oh, boom. Hello. Uh, I love it. Um, I, I will say it right now, and this is for Melinda Lombard, who's watching right now, oh. there is no better place to be than SABC Sport. 100%. It gives you a front row seat to the sport that is changing lives. Mm. And you then get to connect to the people on free to air and show them these life-changing moments. Yes. Representation on that level. First of all, how excited are you to be in this seat? Because you've got to bring it to the people. Right. When Melinda told me, I think it was like a year ago, that I was going to be the anchor presenter for the Netball World Cup, I think at the time I was just like, Oh, she's probably kidding. Like, you know, that's not serious. <laughs> <laughs> but as things got more and more serious, I was like, oh my goodness, this is huge. The very first time that the Nepal World Cup is on African soil, and we as South Africa are doing it, and people keep on saying, they like, you know, in 2010, Philip was here, yeah. and we all were telling the world how to do a World Cup. Now, this time around, I've been hearing from the Nepal fraternity that Phyllis is the one who's here, and we're going to be showing them how we do the Nepal World Cup on the best stage. Uh, uh, definitely, and we do need the ladies to perform, but yes. we don't want to add that additional pressure because they've been knocking on the store of greatness for so long speaking of that yeah. who are the main players at the table now who are the teams that we need to watch beyond our beautiful proteus sure okay so first and foremost jamaica yeah. jamaica has honestly been making such huge strides even yesterday when we were talking to wales um they were saying that for them that they are looking forward to the proteus but also jamaica they know it's going to be a very very tough they've always one. been knocking on that top door they won two three in that, yes. that kind of holy trinity yeah. and at the moment they are ranked number four and even when i was chatting to um one of the former players of new zealand yesterday she was like if she could have her star number number one team going all the way to the final with her New Zealand team. She was like, either the Proteas or, or Jamaica, 100%. The Proteas, there was always additional pressure when you're playing on home soil. We know that they, we've seen this in, our, in the past track record that they will get buoyed by this. Yes. How do they get this right? Because this does feel like a massive gateway. There is an opportunity. Yes. It's either win or lose to mark yourself down in history. Mm. What do the Proteas need to do to get this campaign right? So I'd like to say that I do believe that we've already done what we need to do. And that is in the sense that. of just all of the different camps that have been going on over the last 18 months, as well as what I see in terms of how Norma Plummer and her team went about picking the team. I know that a lot of people said that it was very much based on stats, not necessarily any politics involved. Good. It was all about, yes, exactly. Yeah, we like man. to hear that, right? It Sports was all about. the numbers game, man. 100%. Inches, yeah. It was all about who's done well, how does the team work together really well as well. And another thing that I really enjoy about the team that's been chosen is that it's a nice balance yeah. of the young people coming together with the older people. So, yes, you have your Wong Yim Somi, our captain, my captain, who's going to be leading us to many, many victories. And uh, this is her fourth World Cup. It's incredible, and then it man. is. And then you yeah. have the youngsters, such as Nicole Taliad, where it's her first World Cup, uh, but she was already named player of the tournament for the TNL recently, or rather shoot off the tournament, forgive me, as well as even Kanye Sachawan, who was also named a very big player of the tournament. So I really think that we've got a nice balance and I only see us going up from here. Uh, and I love the fact that you've got enough young players who don't know that they shouldn't win this thing. I love that. We well, need right. players who are just like, oh, we're going to win the World we're Cup. We're going to win it. Yeah. Yes. And then you've got the, the experience there as well. Mm -hmm. How do we stay connected? How do we connect to you? Yeah and get this front row seat. Amazing, thank you for asking that so that everyone knows because yeah. I just want all of us to rally behind the Spa Proteas. They've been working so hard and we are going to be taking all of the SA games to SABC Sport and we're yeah. gonna be keeping everyone up to date with how we're going in our campaign for the World Cup. And of course, just on social media and everything on the SABC Sport pages. Um, but you know, SABC, the biggest platform in South Africa, oh, we got please. you, yes. Um, and this is such an amazing opportunity for young girls mm -hmm. to see themselves represented on the top tier, which is beautiful. Yes. But they also get to see people like you oh, dominating, goodness. not just on radio, but in TV land as well. No, congratulations. I know this is Thank a wonderful you. move for you at just a magical time. Um, so enjoy this front row. You've got the front row seat for this and you've got this man. Thank you so it. much. I appreciate that. And also, can I just say, it will be on SABC Sport, but that will be going to SABC too. So right. that's where everyone will be able to find all of the games starting on Friday in the evening. Yeah, yes. and we will start with a win over Wales. Come I have a feeling on. we're going to be doing a lot of connections with you over this World <laughs> Cup. We love the fact that, yes, the Netball World Cup is here. 
we love it even more because it's on South African soil.